time to wipe some minds with everybody's second favorite purple Deceptibat, Mind Wipe. And I already know what you're thinking. A, what the hell is wrong with this guy? B, animated Mind Wipe? And C, why does he look like Sonar from Justice League? And I will answer your questions in the order in which they were received. A, I don't know what to tell you. This stuff just comes to me, barging unbidden into my brain at Sparrow Fart in the AM. What if I use Blur and put wings on it? B. Animated Mind Wipe is a really real thing that actually exists. He's in the BotCon comic, and there's official DJ Dubs art. No alt mode picks, but as with Blot, it's easy to intuit. No beast mode because animated, but probably some sort of bat-themed flying vehicle. And C. I don't know why he's dressed as a band leader. Let's just assume he's Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club bat and move on. He's made from Blur, because as I said in my override video, did I do an override video? Crap. This is Override, or Override Prime if you're nasty, based on the headshot from one of the almanacs. She and Mindwipe share a central conceit, specifically that Blur's head and chest play no role in transformation and are thus easily replaced. In her case, I just replaced the entire chest with a giant heavy-ass wad of epoxy sculpt because I was young. It's stupid. The new chest allows the shoulders to come in together closer, giving her a more feminine silhouette. And I like to pose her with her entire alt mode on her arm because, well, if you're going to have a kibble chunk, you might as well have a kibble chunk, you know? Uh, plus, I was originally going to use this idea for Roulette and Shadow Striker until I saw Malinus T's Digibash and was like, ooh, I'm building that. For Mindwipe, I just built this box thing over top of Blur's chest and then used some overlapping pieces of very thin styrene to create this snazzy cummerbund just in time for prom. The circles I made by taking a standard hole punch to a sheet of styrene and then painting the droppings. Uh, Mindwipe does not have an alt mode chunk to peg onto his arm because it folds up onto his back. Which is good because Blur's unconvincing shield alt mode chunk thing is probably my single least favorite thing on any animated deluxe. Well, I've got Blur here, I can show you that his arms were totally wrong for Mindwipe, from the spikes to the wheels to the heroically clenched fists. Luckily, I just happen to have some black arachnia forearms and some prowl shoulders lying around, lonely and unloved. And amazingly enough, all the ball joints just happen to fit. That's rare, man. That's like, like unicorn rare, like new methylamine hookup rare, like non-dated Breaking Bad reference rare. It's happened maybe one other time on my 30-odd projects, and here it happens twice on the same dude with parts from three different figures. Freaky. Blur's feet were also wrong because, again, wheels. So I made mind wipes out of uh, spare bumblebees, booster rockets, and stingers. And, you know, a lot of time people will ask me, uh, what would you do if you had, say... Starscream's legs, and Rekgar's torso, and Bulkhead's kidneys, or something like that. It really doesn't work that way. Uh, you know, you chop up enough bots, eventually you'll find that you've got some parts lying around that'll fit on the new thing that you're doing. But I've never had any success doing it the other way, and specifically trying to find a use for parts. Just ask these Blitzwing treads that I've been trying to use since forever. I tried to use them in Scrapper, nope. Mixmaster, nope. Warpath, nope. and they just refuse to work. I didn't really make any other major changes on Override, except to uh, round out the hips a bit so she didn't look quite so sponge blur square pants. His head is just Blur's head with a neck extension and a hat made from styrene. Uh, the details are mostly cut vinyl, including a shiny red chrome vinyl, which is just refusing to catch the light on his eyes and his little mysterious forehead crystal thing. Her head is just a giant wad of epoxy sculpt with styrene antlers but also with a neck extension. And now that I'm talking about Blur's neck, now's probably a good time for me to talk about Blur's neck. TFA Blur out of the box has his neck stuck like this, and it turns out it's because the neck piece here is actually assembled backwards. If you take the whole chest apart and flip that piece around, you can achieve a much more natural range of motion befitting the character. It makes an even bigger improvement on Cheetor. Now, as for that alt mode, I needed to make some sort of bat-themed flying vehicle, but what sort of bat-themed flying vehicle is one to make? Well, the answer came while watching an old favorite movie. Hey! What if I 
paint Starscream blue. That's right. It's the 1989 Batwing. Finally, two of my top ten late 80s bat-themed pop culture things are now one and the same. Not to toot my own horn in excess, but I'm really quite pleased with this thing. Though if I'm honest, most of the credit is due Mr. Rustoleum Matte Black Enamel. Most of what you're seeing right now is scratch. Uh, styrene wings, tail fins, pointy thing up front. I made the wings by gluing together two pieces of styrene and then sculpting them together uh, to make sure they were exactly symmetrical. And the panel lines you're seeing right now were achieved by putting cut vinyl on those wings before I painted them. Any questions? Does he get those wonderful toys? Actually, this particular blur used to belong to Hucklebubba. I picked up a great many fodder bots from friends during Animated's dump phase. You know the dump phase. It looks like this. Jettison some weight or I'll never make it to Cybertron! In that case, I say it is survival of the fittest! Get! Micro Fighters! <laughs> Oh, how it pains me to do this! Wait, I still function! Wanna bet? Override's alt mode is, uh, just blur. With some stickers. Mindwipe is really just kind of folded up underneath. Uh, to get him out, you take the prow and move it up onto the windscreen and then fold that bit down. I know on blur it double hinges, but on a painted figure that's gonna scrape the paint off right there. So we'll just leave it there, pretend it's the collar for his cape. So around on the other side you just kinda bring the legs down. Straighten them out. Bring them around. Turn around the boosters, bring down his little footsie, same again, and then just kind of plug the arms back in. And he's uh, ready to go. Override's transformation is just blur with some stickers. You know, maybe there's a reason I didn't make an override video. Anyway, those are my Blurroids. Thanks for watching and please tune in next time for a video about some guys that are actually new and haven't been sitting around for several months. Hey, it could happen. We're Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Bat. We hope that you'll enjoy the show. My beetle voice sounds more like Obi-Wan Or that Warner Kid Wacko Sergeant Pepper's lonely, Sergeant Pepper's lonely, Sergeant Pepper's lonely Hearts Club Bat